morning everybody, Mrs P here. I've had another busy morning this morning. I got up, got Colum his breakfast, then he went in the bath. Mr P came down, made me and him a coffee. I fed the cats. So Callum goes off to school, it's his last week at school, he breaks up on Friday so then he's got six weeks off so I'll be able to have a lie in. Anyway about quarter past seven Mr P left for work so I thought right I'm going to crack on and get my jobs done. So I went in the kitchen and I washed the pots. I tidied up a little bit, wiped everything down, put my first load of washing in. So I came in here, I had a minute or two and I had my breakfast. So by the time I'd had my breakfast, the first lot of washing I put on the line because it's a gorgeous day here. Anyway, next thought to myself, being as it's such a nice day, I'm going to go up and strip the bed. I had said to Mr P that I was going to strip it first thing this morning, but I have that many things to do before him, him and Callum go off to work and school, that I decided, right, I've had my breakfast, I'll go up and strip the bed, and so it's not so much, because I can't, basically our quilt is a super king size quilt so I can't physically put the quilt cover on myself so what I've done is I've stripped the bed put the clean pillowcases back on put the bottom cover back on so all that me and Mr P has got to do is put the quilt cover back on so anyway I came down I put that in the washer and I've actually just been and pegged it out and thought well why not while the sun's nice nice and warm outside it should get it dry so that's my day so far I'm now absolutely in agony with my knees I've not had a very good couple of days with my knees I suffer from arthritis basically I've got it everywhere but my knees are the most painful I've had to ring the doctors because I forgot to put my prescription in on Friday so I've had to ring them as a matter of urgency and said is there any chance that you can get my prescription done today so she's basically put it down as urgent because there's two things on my prescription one of them being my pain medication and the other being my thyroxine so they're the two that I've got absolutely none of them left at all only for the receptionist to moan at me and she says oh it's actually due today and I says well by the time I'd written realized on Friday it was too late because at our doctors you can only ring between 10 and 11 to order a, a, a repeat prescription so by the time I'd realized on Friday it was too late I suppose I could have phoned up on the off chance that they could have done it me but I thought well I'll ring first thing this morning so anyway they're going to try and get that done for me and I've got to give them a ring back later on Talking of doctors, when I went to the doctors for my blood test, everything's come back A-OK. -okay. My blood pressure was fine, so I haven't got to have any more blood tests till October. So she says, basically, I'll put a tick that I've reviewed your medication that you're taking. She just rang me to say, I didn't got any concerns or anything. And I says, no, I feel absolutely fantastic so basically the next review will be in october when i go for um my liver function my thyroid thyroid function test and blood count and diabetes etc it's what i call my mot they do a full range so she says well we'll leave it there i'll tick everything off and basically we'll review it again in october when you have the other blood tests which they always do anyway it's just in case something comes back untoward but fingers crossed everything was okay with this blood test so I should be all right so I'm just I've just made myself a coffee I'm having a well-deserved re uh, rest so I'm just gonna sit 
put my feet up for a while and drink the coffee. So I'll speak to you all later on. Bye for now. Don't forget, me and Mr P are in a live stream tonight. Mr P won't be doing one on Friday because he's going to the football. Sheffield United are playing Rotherham at Rotherham. So basically, he's doing one tonight because he's, he can't get to do one on Friday. So I'll speak to you all soon. Please like, comment and sub. That would be very much appreciated. Bye again. Bye. Forgot to say that the vlog that I did on how to make a Victoria sponge went down very well. So I'm hoping to get another one done this week. And I've got two recipes in mind. Either lemon drizzle cake or shortbread biscuits. Now, I'd like you to comment on which you think I ought to make, lemon drizzle or shortbread. Now, if you want to leave a comment, which you would like to see me making, whatever the, whatever the most comments want me to make, I will make that. And I will get Mr P to film me do it, uh, making, making whichever it is, either lemon drizzle or shortbread and um, we'll see what happens so please comment either lemon drizzle or shortbread and whichever gets the most votes I will be vlogging anyway speak to you soon bye bottles, bottles.